The new Rings of Power TV show is set to debut on the 2nd of September and the whole world is excited. Even the fanboys who have examined every detail of every frame of the trailer and of the cast interviews and absolutely hate it are excited. They are going to meme the heck out of it. The Young and the Restless. This portion sponsored by Oil of Olay. One of the things we keep hearing about this new series is representation meaning. We need more people of color in the show, but why? Do people have to look like you in order for you to enjoy or relate to the show? Squid Game was a massive worldwide success and it's a South Korean TV show. I enjoy the films of Akria Kurosawa and I am not Japanese. Neither are the many weebs who binge anime. That is all a prelude to this, a Philippine version of The Lord of the Rings. Whether ABC CBN was serious about remaking The Lord of the Rings or not is moot now since the bootlickers and the Duterte administration denied them a franchise renewal. But what is important to note is that Filipinos, who are not British, and anyone who knows Tolkien knows he wrote The Lord of the Rings as a myth and legend for his own country of Britain, care about his world. Just look at those comments. These people know what's up. Peter Jackson's Lord of the Rings film trilogy was a flash in the pan. It was lightning in a bottle. It will never be repeated. Yeah he changed some things because that is what happens during an adaption but the spirit is there. Christopher Tolkien hated them but of course he would since he was the gatekeeper of his father's life work. Sadly Simon Tolkien, the grandson of Professor Tolkien, who is the new gatekeeper says Peter Jackson was too faithful which is why he wanted him to have nothing to do with the new Rings of Power series. And my problem with the films was really that uh, I think Jackson was kind of too faithful to the book. What's important to note here is this work of fiction is beloved by so many people all around the world. People that have nothing to do with the ethnic group for whom Tolkien wrote. This is because the themes are universal and timeless. In fact Tolkien confessed that it is a Catholic work and there are billions of Catholics. The world does not need a black elf or the first black female dwarf to be able to get lost in Middle Earth. All we need is a cozy nook in which to crack open Tolkien's books. The magic works all on its own, even, perhaps especially, in the very Catholic Philippines.